Hi ladies, it's Ali here from Clear Skin and Wellbeing. So today I thought I would try a Korean face mask and use a very nice little tool at the same time because um, I just thought I'd like to do, you know, add a little bit extra to it. Now I have actually, I like to double bubble anything and multitask, so I have actually washed my hair and it does have a, I do have a hair mask on at the moment, so I thought now was a good opportunity why my hair was back and doing its thing, that I could say face mask on. Now I do have, at the moment I'm quite dry, I don't know if you can see in these areas here, so I thought I needed a bit of plumping up and help. So yes, I was about to do this and I wasn't going to record and then I started on taking the packet apart and thought, oh, let's stop and do a recording of me putting on this hyaluronic acid and collagen face mask. Now, I can't remember how much I paid for it. It was, it's probably about three or four pounds under a fiver. And I think I bought it as in either Asda or Boots. You know, I think the, they're around everywhere. I've seen this brand in a lot of places, but you can get other ones as well. So full of high expectations. Um, it does say um, that you end up with young, youthful skin. Um, so let's see. The ingredients, it's not organic, um, but it says leave on for 20 minutes. Do not, um, oh, you do not rinse once you remove the mask. Um, yeah, so we'll see, it's got quite a lot of ingredients. It does have kiwi fruit in there, which I noticed earlier, which I don't know one or two people who are allergic to kiwi. So it's always worth knowing that, worth that every time you buy a skin uh, mask or something, always look at the back, because if you are allergic to anything, you don't really want to be putting it onto your skin. It does contain castor oil, I noticed, which would be great because then, Hopefully, again, even a multitask again might get my eye shut, my eyebrows and my um, eyelashes growing more. So I do reckon castor, um, castor um, helps as well, castor oil. So let's take this off completely. Now I'm not very good at when I'm putting these on. It seems to go everywhere. I don't think it, it says at the very end it's perfume fragrance, and it's on the last of a very long list of things. So I shouldn't think. No, it doesn't. Slightly perfumey, but not too much. Now, I always find it hard to um, open these up, and this is to the point where I end up breaking it. And obviously, the in thing, these Korean masks, and I, I've used the foot ones as well, which are always quite fun. Right, here we go. Say, so, excuse me, put this over. Oh, I, I always hate the feeling when I first put it on of, you know, that real wetness. Well, definitely over those bits. That's what I'll smooth that in. I'm all for hydration. It's a shame they don't come down lower onto the neck, because that will even if you do, even if they had one which was a rectangle, which you could just put it onto your neck. I don't think anybody does that, but you do end up with so much product because they're usually quite. You know, they do tend to be quite. Um, not watery, but they do have a lot of product on them, so you can actually rub it into the neck a bit. As I say, it's a shame they don't have one which is lower. And perhaps they do, but I haven't found one. Right, so my face. Oh, actually, is that on properly? Is there a bit coming down there for the nose? I think there might be a bit on my nose. Ah, there is. There we go. Even better. Right, so that's on. Now, I bought this tool, I was just looking at it, and I've used it a handful of times actually. This one I bought from the body shop, it was 10, 12 pounds, I don't think it was very expensive. See it's got little bits on it here, so it's quite useful, you, you, I'm going to use it on here, but you can use it without, obviously without using a, putting a mask on. And what it does, it just stimulates the lymph and the um, collagen, and the blood circulation. So I'm gonna start on the face. I will still do the neck. I'm gonna start on the face first, just different areas. I'm not gonna to go too hard. So you don't have to do this, but I just think if it's on, this might help penetrate it in more. Plus, it's sort of stimulating, as I say, the skin. 
I should imagine once I've done this using this tool that your skin will be red because you're you know helping the circulation of blood flow now obviously when you go near to the eye you don't go um, too hard just a little bit go up and down feels nice it feels better now I put it on I say I don't like them when I first put them on I hate that feeling and the other side I'm sort of going in an upward motion do another angle and those bits there where you get all those little lines above the mouth I'm still going to go over my lips because that will help the circulation as well see my lips are going red already and so there are plenty of these Korean face masks on the market buying them everywhere um, I tend to use one probably every month or so half the time to be honest I would actually put one of these on and I would lay in the bath with this on so I think if you know if you're warm with all that steam it's going to penetrate more because you're you know the pores in your skin are warmer where you're perspiring so um, cause I do t I know it's naughty but I do like a warm bath so I would do that then on these areas as you can see it does cover the eyebrows so all that can't see so it's got castor oil in it is it going to help with um thicker eyebrows i don't know do that help with that and on this bit here there's nothing worse than a, a frown line that's quite nice it's actually quite a nice um massage actually it's quite a nice little tool i could sit here all day just doing this it's quite um to get into it, it's quite relaxing. Right now, once I've done that, I might just push it further into my hair. As I say, my hair's got product on it at the moment, anyway. I can hear my dog in the background. My dog's always behind the doors, wanting to come in. Get his paws. Right, so now I've done that, I'm going to just go on to my neck because it, unfortunately, as I say, it doesn't go as far as the neck, but I have put the product down into the neck. So it may go a bit red because I'm, again, boosting the blood circulation. Never go too hard on the larynx, this part here. If you do, go very, very um, lightly. But you can go harder on the other bits. Almost down there. As I've said in previous tutorials, I do suffer with quite bad headaches, migraines, cluster headaches. Um, and I do find anything like this, talk, be it the Foreo or this little tool, anything around by my neck, and particularly in these areas, just there, if I can feel a headache coming on, I just use something like a Foreo or one of these, you know, or even just using my hand, to be honest, and massaging it, it does seem to help. See, it's gone red, a little bit red there. Again, I try, although we're going down, I don't really press hard when I go down, but I, go, I do press harder when I go up. Get all of that going. It's quite useful, this tool, because you can sort of move at all angles. It's very easy. You can buy them anywhere. I've seen them, again, in boots. Um, I'll see the one, Home Sense is quite a good place. It's amazing what you can buy in there. They've always got lots of tools. Jade rollers and all sorts. There we go. Right. Kind of there now. Right. So, I've had this on a few minutes, not as long as I would usually leave this on for, to be honest. But um, we'll take it off now. Am I red? I'm feeling hydrated and even though I haven't got the mask and it's actually still quite wet 
I mean, if you really wanted to, you could fold it up and, dare I say, put it back in. And then maybe even use it if you wanted to just use it in a couple of days' time to just double use. And to be honest, you end up with a little bit still in there as well. I can feel it, or the product, whatever that product is in there. But maybe just I might pop that in and just be a bit naughty and use that for another day. So my face was, which I did forget to mention, my face was washed beforehand and completely clean. So actually I will use that again. So I'm going to leave this product, and so although I haven't had it on for say the full amount of time, which I think was 15 minutes to 20 minutes, I've had it on for 10 minutes, but it still works and I'm just going to let that seep in, get in my face, I've got to say it's definitely feeling softer um, yeah, it, it does feel better, more moisturised, it, it, it felt a little bit dry, I did feel it was time for a, for a mask. So yeah, so that's my mask thing, hope that's good, if that's good. Just very quickly, when you ever do anything on your face, you're using upward motions, and you, so all that lymph is all hanging there, all the toxins from your face and the neck. So what you always do, which I always do, is just push it back a bit, so around the side of the ear, so here, the lymph nodes, and then press, just push it down. So the only time you do go down, I'd go up and cross and then go down. And then if you just get down to about here, and then just press it a few times, just to release all those toxins. Otherwise, whatever you're doing on your face will stay, stay there. And you want to move it, you want to shift it down and to get it basically out of your body rather than your face. There we go, all done. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, well, video today. Hopefully it's been useful. Um, please comment down below, particularly if you've used any masks or if you've got any other recommendations. And I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye.